The cost of college here in Massachusetts has left many students with a lifetime of debt, and today they did something about it. 22 News reporter Jackie Ibanez was in Boston this morning where hundreds of, hundreds of students rallied for more state funding for public higher education. Going to college, getting a degree, and entering the working world is the all-American dream. But students say here in Massachusetts, it's becoming harder to achieve. Show us money! Show us money! In the past five years, state funding for public higher education has been slashed by 25%. Professors have been cut from the payroll, and students asked to shell out more cash. It's very, very tough to try to pay off our debts. I'm only there for my second term. I'm already thousands of dollars in debt. No fee hikes yet? Over 20 colleges from throughout the state took their concerns to Beacon Hill Monday. It's part of a campaign to bring state support for public higher education funding up and student costs down. I'm really concerned about the fee hikes and the budget cuts that are coming through. It's a little disturbing that the education state um, you know, that has all of these colleges, doesn't even fund them as much as the majority of the rest of America. In fact, Massachusetts has the fourth lowest funding out of all 50 states. This is more than just a one-day rally. Students and faculty say it's a long-standing campaign, and they won't stop until they get what they say is deserved. Joseph Cakley, a freshman at Springfield Technical Community College, just returned from Iraq. He fought hard for our freedoms and wants the state to fight just as hard for his future. And I served my country and I get no money for college. The money I was given paid off the little bit of loans I had, and now I got to pay out of my own pocket. On average, it costs $8,000 to go to a public college here in Massachusetts. Now that's 33% higher than the national average of $6,000. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jackie Ibanez, 22 News.